Oh Thank gosh. you very much, Frankie. Well, what are you having for breakfast? Yeah. On Friday, over 30 of the country's top business and community leaders will all enjoy the same breakfast, all for a good cause. Raising over 600000 to date, Breakfast of Champions has supported sick kids for the past seven years. And she is a champion. Please welcome back CEO of District Ventures Capital and supporter of Breakfast of Champions, Arlene Dickinson. Again, good morning. It's good so morning. good to see you. I always say this. Whenever you meet Arlene, you're first intimidated because you're like, oh, my gosh, it's Arlene Dickinson. Mm -hmm. Then you see you are just so warm and generous and kind and humble. And this is one way you always give back. Thank you. Why do you love this event that's coming up? This event is fantastic. I mean, what it does, imagine if you were just starting out in your career and you had a chance to sit with, you know, a, a more seasoned professional who was successful in their career. So this, this is matching, you know, champions of business with young up-and-coming professionals. They get to have breakfast with us. There's 35 champions, 350 young professionals who get to spend time with us and ask yeah. questions. And more importantly, they get to give back, back because they pay $89 to come to breakfast. breakfast. Mm -hmm. and that money goes to support sick kids. Raise a lot of money. So it raises yeah. a lot of money. They raised seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars in seven years. It's just fantastic. What a great venue. And to have that intimacy is amazing. It's and what's it like sitting down at the table with them? Yeah, intimidated. I mean, I'm sure they're intimidated. No. <laughs> well, at, at, first, at first, they're very quiet. I got to say, like, usually it's a little bit of silence, like maybe about 30 seconds of silence, and they look at each other, and then somebody will break the ice, and they'll start asking questions, and you get bombarded with all these wonderful quest questions and thoughts about how they can be more successful in their own careers. It's really, it's really fantastic. And that's the thing. You're known for being, it sounds like an oxymoron, but you're the nice dragon. You are. She's the friendly dragon, as it were. <laughs> so they must know that when they My come to you, you, <laughs> you have a way of being extremely nurturing, oh, even thanks. in your criticism. So are you as honest with them there if you think they're on the right path or perhaps they need to tweak and pivot and go in another direction? Do you get that much into it in terms of advice for them? Well, I don't think we have, I don't have that kind of time to really get too far into it, but I yeah. do make sure that they understand that the truth is far better than, you know, your family's always going to say, yes, go do it. It's a fantastic idea, you know, or whatever. You've got to have the ability to break through all of that noise and kind of really take advice, take it to heart, and then go forward. So, mm -hmm. listen, I, this event, this event is, um, it really is one of those moments where I think it's, it's first it's kind, I mean, the only one of its kind where it gets this many business champions to come together to meet young professionals. And, and the best part of it is that they are giving back to the sick kids. And, you know, every, I was saying to you earlier um, that the, there's no voice for kids. So this is a it's way true. to give voice to kids. So it's I a win-win. It. It's a great give back. It's an incredible event. And why is it, why do you love supporting sick kids? I mean, it's helping the kids, obviously, but... Well, you know, like, listen, sick kids, um, this year they're giving the, every year they give the uh, money that they raise to a different area. This year it's going to the Department of Cardiology. So I love it because you never know when your child or somebody else's child and your family is going to get ill. Mm -hmm. I remember my daughter when she was very young, was very sick, and I had taken her to a walk-in clinic, and they said, oh, no, go home with her. And I, I took her out into the car, and I looked at her, and I thought, as a mom, there's something really wrong here. There's something really wrong. And I took her to the um, Children's Hospital in Calgary. And when I was there, you know, they said, no, she actually has really bad pneumonia. And, and that saved her life. So I think all parents, all of us have a moment in time where we rely on great medical professionals who understand cool. children's health. Mm -hmm. Sick Kids in Toronto is an amazing institution. Well, has done class. so yeah. much good to help children and families. Very well, thank you to have again. It in, yeah. have it in, our, in our city like yeah. this. It's, it's going to be a great event. Thank you again for participating. And yeah, I know you pleasure. have so much. I don't know what you can talk about or not, but you've got so much cooking I for 2018-19. So come back anytime to share the thank great you. news. We love having you. Breakfast of Champions takes place, as we said, this Friday morning at Toronto's Arcadian Court. To donate and for more information, breakfastofchamps.ca. Thank you, Arlene. Thanks. We'll be back with thank more you. BT right after this.